Hi, this is Pad Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to share an issue with you. We need to deal with this issue in life. It's a serious issue. And for some of us, it's our undoing. That issue with our lives is death. Many of us cannot wrap our heads around it. Many of us can't accept the fact that it is a definite outcome in every single life. We can't accept how a loving God can allow the people he says he loves to die. How a loving God could take a person in the prime of their life, take a baby, take a child, a, an adolescent, a young adult, even people in their middle and old ages. We just can't seem to wrap our heads around that. It does not compute. So we don't want to accept the fact of death. It hurts too much. But see, what we forget is it doesn't hurt them as much as it hurts us for the most part. I remember a story, I want to share this with you to help you. For those of you family members who may have people hanging between life and death on life support that you insist on, maybe they don't, but you do because you're not ready. <laughs> life support, I take it as for people who want to live but there are people who won't even tell you they're ready to go because they don't have the energy to fight with you about it. Oh, okay. I know a story of a pastor who had a nice sized congregation who loved him dearly. Oh, you gotta hear this. This pastor was old enough and bold enough to tell the truth. Many of your relatives, friends and, and Close ones are not able to do that because you might have a strong personality that they just can't tangle with. Now, this man sent his wife to church to send them a message. They had been praying for him for weeks, for months. Keep him, Lord. Don't let him go, Lord. We want him to stay with us. All the time they're praying, God is considering the fact that they're not ready to let go and it hurts his heart. He knows it's going to hurt them. But by the same token, the pastor is suffering way longer because they are not ready to let go. They're fasting, they're praying, they're having all kind of prayer vigils for this man because they love him so. He sent his wife to tell them, ask them, plead with them. If you love me that much, would you be kind enough to stop praying for me to live and ask God to have his way? Let me go. Release me and let me go. I'm ready. I've been ready. I'm tired. I'm tired of suffering. But the longer you pray, the longer I suffer. Ah, so what I ask you, some of you who have had your loved ones on life support for years, especially if that person has indication of pain, do you love them enough to let them go? Can you find it in your heart just for a minute to not think of you and your loss and think of them and all the gain they'll get when they go. There are some that are waiting to go to heaven, but you won't release them. You insist on keeping them on life support. One of the ladies I know told me about a friend of hers. It broke her heart because their family insists on keeping them on life support. And she has told them again and again, I'm ready 
to go. But they're not ready to let go of mommy. They're not ready to let go of auntie. They're not ready to let go of miss so-and-so or sister so-and-so. They're not ready because they can't handle it. What they're doing is thinking of themselves. While they're doing this, this woman is in ongoing pain and she's constantly got tears running down her face because they won't let her go. And unfortunately, she's not in a coma. So she's very much aware of the pain she's feeling and she's able to communicate with her lips, but they ignore what she says and they hang on to what they want. It's sad. I think that even her right to make the decision has been taken away legally. But I feel for that woman because she's been kept alive for years because the family refuses to listen to her. Do you consider that love? So I plead with the love that's in your heart to consider your loved ones. Consider that between them and God, the whole plan might be to go, to bypass this world of suffering, struggle, tr struggles, trials, problems, issues, setbacks, loss, anything. You know this world has its load of, of, of problems. Well, why would you insist that they stay here if you really believe that if they go, they'll be present with the Lord, totally away from tears and suffering? Why would you insist on them staying? Some of God's biggest blessings are allowing ch children to bypass what you have to go through and go straight to go straight to heaven, straight into the arms of God. And then you get angry with him because he didn't allow you to keep your child with you. Do you really want your child to go through hospital visit after hospital visit, needle after needle, surgery after surgery? Search your heart. What would you prefer for your loved one? what they want, what God wants, or what you want. Think twice before you make your final decision on someone else's life or death. God bless you. God comforts you. And God give you courage to make the best decision in their best interest.